All right. Back with uh, Ashton should be joining us, okay? Go. And Atdai means it's bark. Okay, good. Tas. Tas. Oops, hold on, let me change. Only I get to go. Nobody else gets it. Okay, show what? Oh, 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 Say, 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 Shukshiyan Kubuch Kut Kut Wushia Yet Wushia Yet Una Una Yai Yao Yao E. 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 Yak. Sakneen. Sakneen. Cheech. Cheech. Da. Da. Gal. Gal. Itkin. Itkin. Kuch. Jinwoo. Yuck. Yuck. And we all go starting from our inward space. Yeah. 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 He. He. We. 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 You. You. And we're pointing way over yonder by the time we get to you. Yeah. 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 He. 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 We. 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 You. You. Somebody describe it to me as if you were teaching me and I didn't know anything about pointing. Yuck, you can grab. Uh, it's, no, you guys go. I don't know stuff. <laughs> oh <my gosh. laughs> Yuck is like an arm's reach, right? You can grab it easily. Mm -hmm. West is like you have to get up and get it. Oh, cool. You is like way, way over there. Mm -hmm. I don't really know about the head. Head? Go to the head. Head? Yeah. Yeah, it's got a couple of different meanings. It's closer to me than it is to you, uh, but maybe not. It's still sort of here. I would say ya is right here, he is here, we is there, and you is 
over there, like over yonder. Uh, they also have some time references as well. How do those work? You is like a long time ago. Right. You is long time ago or a long time from now. What is like that time? Yeah, we could be any of them. It's super flexible. He, it doesn't refer to time usually. Ya is right now. It's usually this immediate sort of time. Uh, they're also used a little bit like articles to so say this, you know, uh, or to really specify like ya ye this raven, and that's usually when you're using those raven stories. Here they are again. It's an example of a sentence with heck. Or like a use of it. Uh, so for example, if we were on a boat and the boat was not moving, it was quiet and we had fishing rods in, and we heard something really close, like I heard something pop up. I don't know if it was a seal or what that's the heck. I don't know exactly where it is, but I know it's close by. Okay. And heck usually has something to do, when I've heard it, with this sort of unknown type of thing as well. But it also has these very common uses. Hey, they should go to town. Hey, they. Towards this, it's sort of like this space that is nearby, but yet somehow a little bit unspecified. You also... Um, You'll hear people say tsu hate or tsu hei de. Uh, they'll also say, um, uh, just another song. Um, let me think of how it goes. Ye ya ya na gui na hei da ki te. So it's like a he. So it's right there as well. So, um, or if something was scratching along in the ceiling, some creepy little thing, it's like, that's a heck. I don't know exactly where it is, but I know it's nearby. And so those seem to be the two primary uses when I hear it, is like some nearby yet somewhat unknown location, or just generally coming this way, which is why uh, doors, pull it this way, open it this direction. Even if it goes to that, <laughs> whatever. OK. Uh, so I'll ask you um, each, just the question, da saya. You pick any noun in the world and answer with a we after said noun. Da saya. Puhi da aya. But use a we. A we. A we. Over there. Da saya. Imaginary <laughs> object. Dasaya. 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 Yes, Uchka, Dasaya. No, you're the other Oh, it's a hate. Who's Dasaya. Dasaya. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. And now I'll ask you dasa way. And you can use any noun you want, it's totally imaginary. And say aya. Dasa way. Dasa way. Dasa way. Dasa way. Dasa way. Dasa way. <laughs> and so in this one, the dasa way especially, um, it can have a lot of different meanings as well. Like uh, if someone says, um, it's a cookie dasa achiu. Do you know what I have? You might say dasa way. What is it? Right? So it could be used in sort of you're asking for something. 
Uh, it could be we're walking along on a path and something's rustling in the bushes. That's the way. Is it a big, scary bear or monster? Um, oh, that's nice. oh, sorry. <laughs> <Is> that <exciting? laughs> Well, last night I was leaving. I'm stage managing the skis. So last night I was leaving and I came over here and my bike, I locked it up outside of Moraine. And facilities left a truck full of garbage sitting there. Oh my. And they're like, you know that spot? Uh, there's the two entrances into Moraine. There's, there's the one where the bikes can get locked up and then there's that other one. And I was walking through there and the truck was parked like right there. And there was a black bear sitting in there eating the trash. And I had to chase him off. <laughs> you had to. <laughs> well, I might. Well, the funny thing was, I was like walking. I walked around the that you know. I don't. You guys know what I'm talking about. You, know, you walk around that way, and then you go up across the little ramp thing. But right before I got to the ramp thing, I saw this big old pile of seek hot. Um, and then I was like, where's the black bear? <laughs> and then I saw his footprints in the like rain and I you know like in a puddle and I was like, oh that's terrible. And then I like kept on walking and then I was like, oh there he is. <laughs> this should be on my ultimate quiz. There are three words for poop. What are they? Hot. Hot. And down. <laughs> we only know why I failed you. <laughs> One starts with a G or has a G. I know that. Anybody else? No? I don't think our camera's working, so I'm just going to turn the screen back on. It's Oh. It's the most literal term because that has to do with the action. Oh. Hot means kind of a mess. And then the least sort of the nicest way to talk about it, gande naguti. Gande naguti. It's going outside. Oh. Thing. And this other, this das away, <laughs> you can also chop the we off of it. Did you have something? Oh, yeah, well, I guess that's kind of off topic. Well, it made me think of, um, where did they, did they just have like a big old latrine back in the day or something? Or like, I think the gun day, oh, like where did they go? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, there were, there were basically two things from what I know. One is there was a quest. Quest is a box by the door that you pee into. Oh, it's like a chamber pot. Right? And it was usually the high the high class people that got to use it. Everybody else had to go outside. And they would use it's a it literally would mean like a container for of aged urine. Because then they would use that urine to dye things and, and sometimes in medicinal ways. So it had some uses. Now when it's time to gundain the goo, <laughs> then you would just probably go outside. Ah. Uh, find a spot. Okay. My grandma always used to say I have to go quest. Yeah. And I I didn't realize she was what she was saying. And she never explained it to me. And then so the other day when you said I was like, oh my gosh, half my childhood is explained. Yeah, so quest, <laughs> quest is a noun, but it, you know, so again. It's sort of, there's all these different ways to say, like, yeah, especially if we're out camping and there was no designated spot where people went. And what I'm really communicating is, I'm going over there to use the bathroom. Don't go over there. <laughs> so I'd be like, go say hi to the trees, or I'm going to go over there, I'll be right back. Right? There's all these different ways to suggest <laughs> it. And English is kind of delicate with it, and clink it is at times as well. <laughs> and there's an elder here, and he likes, to, he likes to tell me this story. And then I was like, hey, we should, we, you know, I got this funding. We're going to make these kids' books. And he tells me this story again. And I had to tell him, I was like, it's for kids, so probably not. <laughs> so there's this old man and Cake, and he had this dog. For whatever reason, the dog's name was Dempsey. And of course, this guy was a, a clinket speaker, so he couldn't say Dempsey. So he's got this really big dog. 
and he walks around with it, and he'll say, Dosi, Dosi, a chish, Dosi, a chish. That's the command form for poop. So he's like, poop, poop. He's like telling him. Anyways. So if you chop the we off, you have dasa. And that has a number of different uses as well. So like, say we're all just sitting there, and we're in our total immersion environment, and somebody just calls my name. I'm like, dasa? Just like, what? Like, what do you want? Or if somebody was chronically mouse-voiced, and you're like, <laughs> Dasa, <laughs> I can't hear you. It has a lot of these things. It could also be incorporated into other phrases. So I might say, Dasa tuasuku. Right, so it turns it into a question. What do you want? And then, um, or they get, someone could say, you know, what do you want to do? What do you want to eat? Dasa tuasuku icha. And I could say, Dasa tuasuku. Whatever you want. So there's all these different ways. Dasa um, yisaku heshdasa. Right? What do you know? Nothing. Right? So there's all these different ways. Okay. So now we get a second type of question. Everybody, repeat after me. Gusu. 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 Now there's a way to specify something. For example, if I have this marker that I've been using and I keep losing track of it, where is that marker? But a lot of times I might just say, but what happens is this phrase was often taught with, so people would always say, like, where the we doesn't need to be on there. Right, so the wet is really just to specify some particular object, right? Um, so uh, everybody say. Uh, so would that be as just a literal, or can we use that as a general? Uh, what do you mean? You said the wet is just to specify. So if we just say gusu. Then whatever we're looking for, so would that be considered general then, or specific? Yeah, because well, yeah, a lot of time, a lot of times it's like not some specific one, right? But it depends. Like I say, gusukwena, gusukwas, right? Where is the bathroom? Gusukwena, where is? Yeah, and so it could be any particular one. Uh, but if it's a kinship term, then that, that the pronoun is usually specifying, you know. And so, because I could, I could also get really specific. Like I could say, "Gusu ikaitli," where's your dog? Right? "Gusu iish," where's your dad? "Gusu achkuchayi," "Gusu achdanayi," where's my money? Um, uh, but yeah, and then otherwise. It's it is fairly kind of general, but we see the specific ones that are used, uh, and there's these really scripted sort of things that we use in Clinket. Gusu wake where is the drum? Ya do gao, and then they start. But that's often like a what a drum group does, and that just means start the song, right? We're gonna get ready to start the song, and it's just communicating that to people. So everybody say gusu and pick a noun. And no one's going to answer you. Or I guess just searching in vain. Yeah, we won't just leave you hanging out there. So we'll respond with Yadu and whatever noun you select. Gusu Yadu Yadu Wow. You made it. You made it, Kelly. That's it. Uh, yeah. Yeah, did this. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> Tell me Atlas Junior. Yes, Uchpa. Gusu Yai. 
Ja, dude, ja. Cool. Grüße Jan des Jan des Pla. Ja, dude, Jan des Pla. Sag mir, ja, go away, who? She's fine, dude. <laughs> Yeah, this thought we're just doing goose to whatever now, and we'll just say God. I can't really feel my tongue, so I can't. Talk. Okay, let's just let's just skip you. Yeah. I had my to work done the other day, and I was drinking coffee, and I was thinking, I think it's running down my face, but I'm not. So it was like, you know, like my mouth doesn't work thing. Yeah, so if, if your mouth doesn't work, you, you don't have to perform. But don't go get dead and work on final stay. Could you speak for him? Yeah, yeah, I could. Yeah. So I wouldn't to my, you know, so it didn't you know, so it was down here and it affected like my ability to eat, but not really to speak because Clinket is behind the teeth yeah. so much. Half of my tongue was a little bit numb, but <laughs> what was weird was like eating and not being able to feel oh, yourself. Yeah, yeah. That's so because I like push it up on this side of my mouth. Uh, okay. Kashtin. Kusuki. Yadu kit. So the things we remember as the Yadu, it's high tone to low. Uh, everybody just repeat after me. Yadu kis. Yadu kis. Yadu khat. Yadu khat. Hey du kutsin. Hey du kutsin. Hey du kit. Hey du kit. Way du ikla. Way du ikla. Way du as. Way du as. You do this. You do this. Uh, <laughs> you do shaw. You do shaw. So then we, we've learned get. So this turns things into a question, a yes or no question. So, you know, like, uh, I might look at my daughters and say, and it depends on the context, right? Sometimes I'm saying, are you being good? Or if they fall, are you okay? Is it okay for me to tell you about Raven? Um, and so, and then whatever. Is it okay that this happens, right? So, like, if I'm working with an elder, I might point at the camera and say, is it okay for me to write down what you say or to record what you say? Uh, is it okay if I eat all your half dried fish? Can you say, ah? Oh. <laughs> okay, so there's those ones. Ah. Oh. Ah. Oh. Oh. Hey. 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 You're telling us no. <laughs> <laughs> totally wrong. So then, uh, this is asking if something is. So, for example, I'm holding a bottle. So I might say, and you know, I'll say, ah, uch and away. I would say, uch and uch and It's like black. Thing. I, I don't. I have no idea how it works. It's such a weird word. Uchanek akya. So then, if I'm holding up a book, which I, our camera's not working right now, so we're just gonna deal with it. And if I said kuhida akya, okay. Yep. So this is just making yes or no questions, and then you could say akwe. Uh, I think it should go high toned A K period W E. Some people would like want to fight to the death for the period. 
I, it's, it's probably in there. I think I hear it when people say that. Um, and this, this doesn't have to be just things that you're holding, right? So same thing, like if we're out on the boat and something is surfacing, I might say, you know, and this happened to us uh, a couple years ago. They were bringing some kids to the beach and they wanted us to speak to them in clink kids. And I was sitting there with King Casey, David Cansey, and we could see something jumping out of the water. And he said, Dasa? He said, Dasa, you? Echasaku? Saakwe? He said, Tag Cheech. Because he saw the way they were jumping. Right? So it's as you're trying to figure out what something is. Uh, and same thing, you see somebody and, and you think that you know them, then you could say, you know, Charlie Aqua or Wa'e Aqua. Is that you? Uh, okay, so moving on back to our noun starting on page 31. Seek. 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 Dana. Dana. Kawood. Kawood. This. Kishish. Kishish. Yik Uchka. An. 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 Kawood. Nish. Nish. Gish. Gish. Uh, Christina, are you still with us? Gone. 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 <laughs> Gone is outside. If it had two A's and the first one was high tones, would that be gone? If it was G, high tone A, A, N? Yeah. Okay. Gone, that would be outside. Gone is outside. Gun. It's firewood. Low tone, gun. It's fire. But it's more like a campfire, or it's not like the actual fire itself. It's like the fire. I don't know how to explain it. But it, it really doesn't appear on its own. It appears with other things in combination. Cost. Cost. Shayed. Shayed. Heat. Heat. Tan. Yeht uchka. Yain. Yain. Kuwuch. Gooch. Gooch. Kastin. Nadam. Nadam. Kushta. Kushta. Douche. Douche. Kutia. Kutia. Kanaist. Kanaist. Kahak. Kahak. Yeht uchta. Shakiat. Shakiat. Kuwuch. Na at Na at Rastin Jaji Jaji I'm just going to put those with two E's at the end. I always hear it long. Jaji. You can say Jaji, but that's not how I ever, I don't hear people say that. Kajin. Okay. Kajin. Shao. Shayena. Shayena. Tawe. Tawe. Tana. Tana. Bicht Uchta. Yuka Ud. Yuka Ud. Yes. Siki Kuma. Yang. Yang. But is, what was the story with Siki from Red Cloud? And then are the same or not the same? In. In. 
So that should have a high tenor? It should. Wait. But that's a clap. <laughs> in Schmidt, <laughs> yeah, in, in, in it's gain is a, and I don't know if it's high tone or not. But I just heard it was yain, and I thought it was it was neat because I was thinking of it. I was mixing plinket and so sheep cucumber, so shaped cloud, yain yum. So yain. Yeah. Or you'd say so. Uh, here's two words. Maybe I'll turn the different camera on just for a second. Is all right on four? Oh wait, there's all kinds of stuff. Oh, I'll erase some stuff. <laughs> Oh, yeah, you guys can see. Maybe it works. Do you guys see anything? Okay, yeah, they're right. Make a weird face. Okay, so there's two ways to sort of compare things. Why high tone A underline X? Yeah. Yeah. And so this would be noun. Or uh, if you were just doing the default. And then you might have yeti at the end. And this is for something to be similar to, right? And this is where we get colors from. It's blue. Um, and then you could say, you know, it's like that, right? It's similar to. Or we could also have noun. And this means to look like or to be as if. And they're used in, in pretty similar ways. You know, so you could say, uh, and especially if you're composing clinket speeches and you're using metaphors, you might say, uh, so you could say, like, we're really happy to see you. It's as if it's like I'm looking at my grandparents landing for the first time. Right? So what you're doing when you're using metaphors in Clinket is you're really trying to say, I, I can't express this using regular language. I'm going to use some, some, uh, some figurative language. In this one, Uwaya, you'll see it. There's a porpoise like shark. It's called Cheech Uwaya. If you had a dog that looked a lot like a wolf, you could call it Puch Uwaya. And that Uwaya at the end means it's not that thing, but it looks like it. And then you'll see, like, C H apostrophe U before this, and this Uwaya is U W A. Y, high tone A, A. Sometimes this goes long in two O's. Cha Uwaya. And this is one you, you'll see used a lot as well. To, and then they're just different ways to sort of create metaphors. This is like to be similar to, and this is to look like or to resemble something. But you can have this used quite a bit. So you could say, like, Cha uh, Uwaya. It's as if our grandparents are with us. And so if, if, as you look at sort of elevated speech making, pay attention to how they're using this. There was a Deosh and Kavwazk and Aukatsim. Uh, they were down in Wrangell, and they got into this fictional bad speech making, bad speech making contests. Because one of the things that does happen with Clinket is one, if you remove the language, you lose a lot of the depth of how the metaphors work. The other thing that tends to happen is the language gets a little bit stuck. <laughs> and that means people just keep saying the same things. Right? So you go to cultural events and they'll say, we're going to dry your tears with their blankets. We're drying your tears with their blankets. We're drying your tears with their blankets. But there's not new metaphors. And so the thing with Plinket is there should always be new metaphors people are making. And if you really study the speeches, you'll see that this is what they're doing. 
is so they're tying things to stories, or they're tying things to these other ideas. And so I think they were saying um, something like, oh, my God. Jidakutas Kuwasus Akshaat, the Alaska Airlines Ka Ilu Khatungi Kakwasashatsin Akad at Sichuaya Pasku would A Akshaat, the Achaway, Ilu Khatungi Shatsin. They're saying like, it's as if Alaska Airlines lost my luggage. And because your words were so amazing, it's as if they had found my luggage. <laughs> right? So they're just they're just kind of goofing around. And I did something. It was like, yeah, <laughs> yeah, so it's, it's as if something's like something. You know, just just being silly. <laughs> Cloud is the same word for yay, because it's for sunshine. It's cloudy, which is data. Really? Sha. 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 It's cheesh. Any other questions? There's not an ah sound in think it, is there? Ah, like yeah. bat, cat, rat, no. If you're making that sound, you're bringing English in. Or some shit. Yeah. Ah, that's right. Voice tells too, right? Yeah. Okay. So uh, basic sort of starting to put questions together. These are what we call sometimes WH questions, the who, what, where, why, when types of things. And these are important to do in languages because you can start putting together more complicated phrases. But we'll just run through this pretty quick, and then we'll um, we'll do a couple more things, and we'll wrap. So this one, you can have something on the left, plus sa, and then an optional ye, ya, he, we, or you. Da sa, 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 wa sa, wa sa, wa sa. A do sa, a do sa, a do sa, a do sa, goose, 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 goose. The goo likes to have other suffixes involved. You can have goose, you can have that. Uh, but oftentimes you're going to get some directional or locational suffix at the end. For example, you might hear goo day sa. Gudaksa, Gunaksa, Guksa, Gutsa. And next semester we'll get into the very the subtle differences between all of those. Kunsa we oops Kunsa 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 Quatkinsa Watkinsa Quatkinsa Watkinsa Yaktad Good gain, sir. Good gain, sir. Good gain, sir. Good gain, sir. Quack, sir. Quack, sir. Quack, sir. Yap, dad, poor. Good, sir. Good, sir. Good, sir. Good, yes, sir. Dad, yes, sir. Dad, yes, sir. Dad, yes, Dat kasa, wanaksa, 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 wanaksa. There's another one which is sort of a more of a construction. It's wananisawe, wananisawe, wananisawe. And it's used a lot in storytelling, and it's sort of like, at what point was it? And it, it's it's a device used a lot in Clinket to sort of speculate on something. Okay. Mm. Hey, we're now on page 43. Jump to head. Go ahead. Yep. Zayt. Zayt. 
sum on query on query cheat cheat in cheat in cheat is to stop speak 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 work Ah. What's that? Go. So, uh, A blanket? It's in that yet which ta is warmer. Oh. A sail? A sail? A sail or cloth. Ah. It means the thing that's blown around. A pa away das away like ka enach. It's a hit. A tent. It's a hit. Fabric house, cloth house. Was da hit? That's the way at the pa. Was da hit? I'm thinking of like a survival, <laughs> like lean to. Well, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So you think they're more, you get them more in the interior. But it's just it's got a wood frame and then it's got canvas. And often there's a wood stove built into it. Chash hit. Chash hit. Like the, the back house. The brush house. So chash is brush. Okay. All right. So these pronoun triangles, and that's probably good enough for today. So starting off, somebody tell me what independent pronouns are. Not attached to a verb. Not attached to a verb. Not implying ownership. Their use would be like someone's at the door. I do so way. It's me. Right. I play these games at my house. And this is a fun game. There's a um, Haida teacher who does this. Maybe we'll do this next week. But somebody's at the door. And you do this little conversation. I do so way. Cut a ya the ish. Ha. That's up to us to do, right? That's what you just said. to us to do, yeah. I do so way. Ay, von de hoon ya way. All right. So going through these first person, second person, third person. I always keep this in mind, talking about myself. Talking about you, talking about somebody else. To you. Hut. 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 Yeah, it's mine. Right. Or mine, it's, yours, theirs. Yeah, mine, yours, theirs. Um, his or her, however we want to take care of it, moving into English. Uh, it also implies like the kinship as well, like, you know, how the kinship is tied. But it would be the same types of thing my, your, their. We'll see other special uses in, uh, in Clinkit, like if I were to say, 
the command verb is kananik, tell. If I say tell me, achim kananik. Uh, tell him or her, duim kananik. Tell them, hastuim kananik. So there are certain verbs where we're conjugating with the possessive pronoun. We're almost, almost out of time, so we'll just use this. Ach. 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 Eh. 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 So guys, next week, the big wrap up. Good afternoon. Ah. Uh.